guys so today I'm gonna to be showing you how to do this kind of um, floral white pink um, blushy freckled makeup look um, I'm gonna figure out the title <laughs> but yeah I was really really inspired by um, Paloma because she did this really beautiful like star galaxy purple makeup look that I thought was so so pretty so I was really inspired by her and then I was also really inspired by this photo I saw on Instagram and it's this girl and her Instagram um, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right um, but I'm gonna have it I'm gonna have both of them down below but um, it's by Angelina and she did this really she did two like really pretty um, looks where she used like 3d um, things and like stuck them to her face <laughs> but yeah I was really inspired by both of them so I'm gonna leave their links down below if you want to go check them out I'm also in a different setup today um, I explained this in the video but I'm at my friend Bailey's apartment because I'm watching her dog Cooper the golden retriever um, so I just thought I'd take advantage of her really beautiful lighting and space um, she said I could don't worry <laughs> anyways I'm gonna stop talking um, I really hope that you guys like this video um, this is one of my favorite looks that I I've done I think it looks really really pretty um, and very like feminine and I love like the pink reddish tones of it um, so I hope you guys do too don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of me and if you like the video um, please give it a thumbs up um, but yeah let me show you how I got this look okay so first I'm just gonna prep with chapstick I always use my birds and bees chapstick it makes my lips feel really tingly and I really like that <laughs> Next thing I'm going to do is conceal and I'm using my 100% pure second skin concealer and it's in the color sand. Um, my skin has been getting so much better. Um, I do have like a pimple right here and um, right here. This one's going away. Um, I think it's because at work like I put the phone to my ear and the phone's like really dirty because I work at a doggy daycare so <laughs> it just gets really dirty and I keep like pressing it up against like this section of my face so I feel like that's why I'm breaking out over here um, but everywhere else like it's pretty much gone down there's just like scarring and stuff um, so whenever this goes away I think I'll make a skincare routine and just let you know um, all the stuff that I've been using um, because I think what I've been doing has been working um, you guys saw before that I had a lot of pimples and they've been going away um, So I think it's because of the skincare routine I've been doing so I'm really happy about that also in case you guys are wondering <laughs> I'm at uh, Bailey's apartment because I have been babysitting Cooper the past I think like four days because um, she went to Cabo so yeah, and her apartment is really, really cute and has really good lighting. So um, I asked her and she said I could film in her room. So that was really nice. And um, yeah, so hopefully this video turns out okay. It looks really, really nice, like the lighting and everything on the camera. So um, I'm excited about that. But yeah, I figured I'd just utilize her space while I'm here. <laughs> I'm actually really, really sad because... Um, I feel like I've like bonded a lot more with Cooper over the past few days and Pepper and Cooper have bonded so much. Um, I'm going to go in with a different concealer too. Sorry, I interrupted myself. I'm going to go in with a different concealer as well. Um, I'm going to take this one, Naked Skin by Urban Decay. This is the Medium Dark Warm. Um, I'm just going to put this over my... Um, pimples anywhere that I feel like needs just a little bit more coverage but yeah pepper and Cooper have gotten along so well um, I feel like they've bonded a lot since um, babysitting him because so pepper is 10 years old so he doesn't really play so as I was saying he doesn't really play but with Cooper he's been like really playful um I'll insert like a clip like right here or something um but he's been like actually playing with Cooper like tug of war and stuff like that and Pepper never plays with dogs like that like he's just really he's just like not really old but he's just getting older so um he doesn't really play that much anymore so when I saw them playing I recorded so much of it because Pepper's really really picky about who he likes he like tolerates most dogs 
but he doesn't like like really bond with other dogs so um, it made me really really happy that he bonded with Cooper like there's only two dogs that he likes he really likes Cooper now and another golden retriever named Walter um, and those are like the only two <laughs> but yeah I just feel like a mom talking about <laughs> her kid playing with another kid <laughs> But it was really, really cute. I'm sure if you guys have older dogs and you see your dog playing with um, another dog, it makes you really excited because it's nice when they find someone that they can like hang out with, you know? Okay, now I'm gonna be taking, um, I'm gonna be doing my brows a little bit differently this time. Um, I got this, um, I don't know what this is called. It's like this, Kind of waxy but not wax brow um, gel type thing um, and I'm gonna be using this to apply my brows today because I used it it's by 100% pure this is in the color soft brown but I used it whenever I was at their headquarters um, to do a live with them and I really really liked it so so also Gen Beauty was this weekend and it was really, really fun. Um, like, whenever I moved to San Francisco, I was from Texas. <laughs> so I didn't know anyone when I moved here a couple years ago. And I've told you guys this before, like whenever I first started my channel, I don't know, I don't know if any of you guys remember this, but I talked about how I was super, super lonely when I was here. Cause I mean, I didn't know anyone um, and uh, I, I don't know, yeah, I was just really, really lonely, so, um, I didn't have any friends or anyone to, like, hang out with, you know, like, I didn't have, like, a good group of friends or anything, and it was, I don't know, like, I like talking to people, but actually, um, really getting along and, like, vibing with someone is a little bit different, and, like, potential potential blah, potentially becoming like close friends with someone because you've just like you just get along really well um i didn't really have any of those feelings in san francisco except for like with a couple people that kind of made me sad but then over um gen beauty like i hung out with just like a bunch of people and um they introduced me to other people and it was like the most fun I've had in a really long time and that sounds really sad um, <laughs> but it really was and um, it felt really really nice to just get along with other people and have like a lot of fun and just feel like I don't have to try so hard to have fun and I just naturally get along with them it was probably one of my most memorable times in SF so far um, so yeah. <laughs> okay, so I've done my brows and now I'm gonna go in with my eye makeup and I'm gonna keep it really, really simple because like the rest of my face is gonna be kind of just a little bit more um, bold, I guess. So I'm gonna be taking this um, highlighter that I've been really, really liking. I got this in my Ipsy bag. Um, it's from Nomad and it's in the, it's called Illuminating Highlighting Powder um, in Midnight Sun. And I'm just gonna take a little bit on my fingers and just kind of dab it on the inner parts of my eye. And then I'm going to be taking this color called um, Pink Mauve from the Lorac Matte Palette. And I'm going to be putting this all over my lids. Sorry guys, um, I pulled you in closer because it's kind of far away. Um, but yeah, I'm just putting this all over my lid. And then I'm just going to be taking a little bit of corduroy right here, this light brown color. And I'm going to be putting this on the um, outer parts of my eye, but I'm not going to bring it up as high as the pink color. Just to give my eyes a little bit of shadow. Looks a little darker on this side because the lighting is coming from like this area. Um, so the light's mostly hitting this side. So um, it's like brightening it up so you can't see the eyeshadow as much as on this side. But um, they look the same. So just base it off this side. <laughs> But um, yeah, so it's just a little bit of pink and then a little brown to kind of um, smoke it out or like create a little bit more dimension, if you know what I mean. All right, now I'm gonna go in with eyeliner and I'm using my M Cosmetics Brush Tip Liner. This one's my favorite one, just really easy to use. Um, gonna just be creating a really thin wing like I always do. My wings are not very symmetrical today, but 
I'm just gonna leave it. <laughs> Alright, now I'm going to be using my Ardell Demi Wispies. Um, actually, are these Demi Wispies? Okay, I don't think these are Demi Wispies. Um, I ordered these thinking they were, but they do not look the same. <laughs> but I'm gonna try these anyway. These are called Ardell Natural Multi Pack, and they are in the color 110. Um, <coughs> oh. Okay, so I put on one lash. What do you guys think? I feel like it just looks like a little bit different, but that's because I look at myself all the time. <laughs> so. Um, I don't like not like them, but I mean, I think I like the Demi Wispies better. But this is all I have for now, so I'm just gonna roll with it. Okay, so I'm done with my lashes. Um, I'm gonna do my face stuff now. <laughs> I'm gonna be using my Tarte Princess Park Princess Avenue bronzer like I always do. Just gonna bronze up my face a little bit. And then I'm gonna be taking the Nomad highlighter again. Can you hear that baby cry? Okay, I'm gonna be taking the Nomad highlighter again and putting this on my cheekbones. I love this highlighter. I think it's so, so pretty. And a little on my nose. All right, for blush, I'm gonna be taking this 3CE blush um, cushion and this is in the color Girlish Red. And I forgot to bring the cushion so I'm just going to be using my fingers to blend it in, so hopefully this works. <laughs> okay, I turned the camera a little bit more facing towards both windows because um, it was just not a good representation of my makeup, I guess. Um, and it's still like this side is a little darker because there's not as much light coming this side, but um, I think it's pretty balanced now. Um, this side looks a little bit more red, but in real life they're the same amount of red. <laughs> but yeah, I really like this blush cushion. It smells really, really good too. I've always wanted to try a red blush, so that's why I got this, and I've been really liking liquid blushes lately. Okay, and now I'm going to be taking these accent stickers. These are actually nail stickers. Um, I couldn't find anything else, <laughs> but I really like these ones, these little pink ones right here. And these are also really, really beautiful, so I'm going to choose between those two. Okay, I'm going to be taking the pink um, star one. I think I'm going to be using a combination of stickers, so I'll let you know which ones I use. Um, and I'm just going to kind of decorate them right here, um, so we'll see how this goes. So I put two of the star ones right here so far, and I think it looks really cute, but I kind of want to add some more. Okay, so these are all the stickers that I put on. I just use like a bunch of different combinations um, of stickers. I might move this one a little more to the left, but yeah, so I just used a bunch of different combinations of all these stickers, and I just kind of color coordinated them and put them all together. Um, it's basically like whatever you want to do. I kind of stuck with like the white, pink, um, theme um, so yeah and I think it looks pretty good <laughs> lastly we're gonna do lipstick and I brought this lipstick from 3CE that I've never really tried before um, this is called number 111 kind hug I think um, and it's a really really pigmented so I'm gonna be very light-handed with this I really like this lip color. It's a really nice shade of pink. If you just went straight on with it, it'd be like super, super pink. But if you go light handed, it's a nice um, kind of flushed kind of pink, if that makes sense. <laughs> and then the last thing I'm going to do is use my Tatcha um, Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. But yeah, guys, so this is the finished look. Um, again, I was really inspired by Paloma. She's so, so talented. She just did this really beautiful, like, star freckled um, galaxy kind of look that I loved. So um, you guys should check that video out. I'll have it down below. And I was also really inspired by this girl that I found on Instagram named Angelina. Let me just double check. Yeah, that looks like how you say it. Um, I'm going to leave her Instagram down below too. Um, she does really cool ones with like 3D um, stick-ons. Uh, so I thought that was really pretty. <laughs> and I know a lot of YouTubers and Instagrammers um, do this kind of uh, freckled look, um, some version of it. So I'm really inspired by a lot of people who do that. But those two just kind of gave me this idea. But yeah, we really hope that you guys liked this makeup look and this video. Um, if you do, please give it a thumbs up and then you can subscribe if you want to see more of me. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, bye guys.
Do 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 do